Jane Goodall is the world's foremost expert on chimpanzees. Her research at Gombe Stream in Tanzania has become the foundation of primatological research and has redefined the relationship between humans and animals. In this segment, we hear from Goodall about her community-centered approach to conservation. She lit up when she saw this fine fellow, and her warmth for all creatures of the earth is easily felt by all of us hovering around her at the Center for Living Peace in Irvine. Dr. Jane Goodall, the woman who discovered, observed, and shared with all of us the more human side of chimpanzees. But it might not have happened without a mother's love. The authorities wouldn't let this young English girl go out alone into the potentially dangerous forest with potentially dangerous animals. So having finally managed to get the money, Louis Leakey, not me, he got the money for six months, was okay, this American businessman. And then the authorities said no, but Leakey never gave up. So in the end they said yes, but she must have a companion. So it was my mother who volunteered. There was no dragging my mother. She probably didn't love it as much as you though, I imagine. Well, she loved it in a way, but she, you know, she was particularly thrilled with snakes and spiders and things which could walk into the tent very easily because it was an old-fashioned ex-army tent. No sewn-in ground sheet, nothing like the fancy stuff you go camping with now. You rolled up the flaps to let the air in and you let everything else in too. And I left her on her own with one Tanzanian cook and that was it. Every morning I was up before light. What a good mom. Yeah. Finally able to be in Tanzania did not mean things became any easier. The chimps also challenged her presence. Well, to start off with, they were very scared. They'd never seen a white ape before, and gradually they got used to me, and then they you know, went through a bad time when they tried to drive me away, so I was a predator. And then they kind of gave up on that and came to accept and then trust me. But the relationship we have now is they ignore us. We're just another part of the environment. A few years back, a very personal issue Dr. Jane Goodall deals with came to light. Prosopagnosia, otherwise known as? Face blindness. Face blindness, yes, it's got a scientific name. And interesting, it seems to be hereditary. So it must come from my father, I don't know, and I can't ask him now because my mother recognized all faces instantly. My sister doesn't. And there are certain faces that are easy to recognize and others just fit a certain pattern and till I know the person really well I don't recognize them again. It's very embarrassing and, um, and as people know they so my, my strategy is to pretend to know everybody <laughs> so I'm always hugging total strangers and then I say oh but you look just like so and so I mean, it's, it's a bit silly but it is embarrassing <laughs> but the way you're handling it is ultimately charming <laughs> well just what else can I do Traveling 300 days a year to share her message with many, many faces, the important question is what can we do? I think the most important thing is for everybody to realize that every single day you make different choices in what you buy, what you eat, what you wear, how you get from A to B, how you interact with people. And if you would think a little bit about the consequences of those choices, has it harmed animals? Did it involve child slave labor? How many food miles is it used? How much pollution was caused? You know, then people start making different choices. And if we care at all about the future of our children, if we don't start doing this en masse very soon, it will be too late. We are the most intellectual being that's ever walked on this planet. So how come we're destroying our only home? It doesn't look very encouraging on Mars, does it, from those pictures of that little robot. So we've only got Mother Earth, and we're destroying her very, very fast. And that's why I work with youth, because we've destroyed their future in, in many ways, so it's up to us now to work with them to try and do as much as we can to restore what we've destroyed. Well, thank you for the gift of your presence. You will not have to remember my face, but I will never forget these moments that I've had in front of yours, so thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Goodall founded a youth-led community action and learning program called Roots and Shoots to foster the next generation of conservationists. To learn more about Roots and Shoots and her work, visit our website.